but 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 this is what happened to me. I went into a, a hotel room in in London, and I was late with grades, and I had to connect to the internet, and the internet wasn't working. And there's a knock at the door, and I'm aware that you know grades have to be in at Berkeley at a certain time. It's like trying, trying, can't get through. And then um, a guy is there, a uh, tall guy. Um, I don't know. I'm short. It mattered to me. He was tall. Um, <laughs> And uh, he says, excuse me, uh, Mr. Madam, Mr. Madam, mm, Mr. Madam, Mr. Madam, Mr. Madam, Mr. Madam, Mr. Madam, Mr. Madam. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, went, accelerated, like, and it, it couldn't stop. And so I realized I, I, I needed to make an intervention, right? Because things were out of control. And so I... But I was, I was a little nasty, I'm afraid, and I said, um, <clears throat> I said, what are you here for? And he said, well, I'm supposed to check the mini bar, Mr. Madam, Mr. <laughs> Madam, and it starts again. And I said, is it necessary to determine my gender in order to check the mini bar? <laughs> okay, nasty, I'm nasty, right? I'm nasty. And I did actually immediately feel some guilt, right? Because it wasn't a very kind thing to do and I could have given him a pronoun or allowed it to just go. And in most cases, I will fill in the gap in whatever way feels comfortable just to move on with the business of life. <laughs> since apparently, I mean, you can't even order a meal in Berkeley without being a lady. <laughs> Ladies, woo, okay. I argue one out of 10 times, but then nine times I just want to get the food. Okay. Uh, anyway, this poor gentleman, finally, um, he managed, I said I just arrived, there was no purchase from the mini bar, and he left. And then later I thought about all the repercussions of this, and I thought, you know, he's a worker. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm paying, I'm staying in this you know, reasonably nice hotel and he was trying to be polite. Gender was for him uh, the marker of politeness. He wanted to offer the recognition of gender so that he wasn't just bluntly asking me a question like, can I come in, like, you know, without addressing me. In other words, he had no way to address me without gender, but, the, but by addressing me in that way, he was actually offending me. It was his effort at hospitality and I, I registered it as offense, right? And so, in fact, he and I would have had to have a much longer conversation um, <laughs> to kind of get to that. But I did realize that, you know, um, we can't disarticulate gender from questions of class or questions of race or how, how that exchange of interpolation is situated in broader social structures. That's, that's really the, the truth of the matter. So I felt such guilt about it. The next day I walked into the women's locker room and um, somebody looked, I don't know what was going on with me, short hair or something, I don't know. <laughs> and, so, and, and one of the women says, uh, excuse me, this is for the ladies. <laughs> so apparently I was not a lady then, and, and I wanted to reassure her, so I said, oh, don't worry. I mean, I said this in, in high British. I said, oh, don't worry, I'm a lady. <laughs> you know, in an, because I was so guilty about what happened. Uh, <laughs> And then, and then she kind of like looked at me. She's like, "You're a lady. I don't know." She, she, she said to her friend, "Let's get out of here." You know. Like, anyway, this is part of my ongoing confusions.